Panthers, my name's Ellie Boding and I'm the Northern Iowa Student Government President. I've been talking with students all over campus and I've been getting lots of questions about COVID-19 and I am by no means an expert. But luckily, I got the opportunity to sit down with someone who is, from six feet apart, of course. Shelly O'Connell is the Executive Director of Health and Wellbeing Services here at the University of Northern Iowa and I got the chance to chat with her and get all my questions answered about COVID for you. Okay, Shelly, so I've got some really, I've got an easy one for you first. Okay. Um, so can you just explain the difference between isolation and quarantine? Yes, and this is a commonly asked question and it is confusing. I agree <laughs> and I've been answering this question for about three months. So um, isolation is for people who have tested positive for COVID-19. So they have been confirmed with either a laboratory test or a physician or a healthcare provider has told them to assume that they have COVID-19 based on their symptoms. So they would be in isolation for 10 days from their first date of their symptoms or if they didn't have any symptoms, they were asymptomatic, it would be 10 days from the day they tested positive for it. Quarantine is for people who have been exposed to someone who has tested positive. So they've been within close contact for longer than 15 minutes for less than six feet apart. Um, so they would be needing to quarantine. And quarantine would be from the 14 days from the last date of their exposure. So. That's the difference between quarantine okay. and isolation. Perfect, thank yeah. you so much. We just throw those terms around so much anymore that yes. <laughs> I mean, I get confused quite easily. So uh, the next question that I've gotten a bunch is, does testing at the health center cost? Sure, and this is a, a big question too yeah. that we get. <laughs> so currently there is not a fee associated with testing. So the testing is being done through uh, the state hygienics lab. So they have been kind enough to loan us an analyzer and the reagent for that. So there's no cost associated with it. There also is no cost associated if a test goes to the state hygienics lab for processing. Um, so, but soon we will have to return that analyzer and we will have to start billing for it. So there will be a charge of $80. We will submit it to a student's insurance. If for some reason their insurance doesn't cover the cost, the university will work with them to make sure that that cost is covered. Awesome, great to hear. Yeah. So this is a question that I've heard a lot um, and I also have experienced personally. So if a situation ex uh, comes up where my friend was exposed to someone who tested positive, do I need to quarantine? Right. No, you don't need to okay. quarantine. So if your friend has tested positive, then you would need to quarantine. Okay. So you're kind of what we call a tertiary exposure. So you're not immediately exposed to someone who has tested positive and that person's in quarantine. Now, that's why we put them in quarantine, because we're trying to prevent the spread of COVID-19. So if you're in quarantine and not around anyone else, and then you do develop COVID-19, then we don't have to quarantine people who are in close contact because you you won't be within close contact with anyone. So Awesome. Mm -hmm. Good to know. Better safe than sorry. Yes. Uh, so for students that are getting tested off campus, uh, mm -hmm. what do you think is the best way for them to go about reporting their data? Um, so it's, that's a really good question. So it's going to allow them to fill out the Panther Health Survey um, because maybe they tested at Testa, Iowa, or maybe that they had a personal physician in the local area that they had tested through. So it will um, give them those valuable resources through the Panther Health Survey, such as um, filling out the form for the Dean of Students Office that's embedded in there. Also, it will tell them when they can return to campus safely, um, if they are uh, uh, on campus employment, as far as a student, it gets notification to that department as well. Okay, great, good to know. Mm -hmm. So with all that's going on in the world right now between racial trauma and the COVID-19 pandemic, mental health is really a big concern for me personally, for my students, uh, and just to make sure that they're gonna be safe. What is the Counseling Center doing to make up for this uh, extension of those mental health services? Sure, um, they're continuing to do teletherapy so if a student is a little bit anxious about coming in and, and sitting, you know, they'd be more than six feet apart, but still they might just be anxious about doing some in-person services. They're doing teletherapy on a daily basis. We still have the crisis counselor on call, so they can call and talk to somebody over the phone. We can quickly set up a teletherapy with them as well. We still have the 24 seven after hours services, and then they're doing a lot with um, group therapy. So those are also via um, Zoom right now. So making sure that we can still provide the service, still to provide the support, but yet at the same time, they're getting what they need as well. Okay, that's great, mm -hmm. awesome. 
And then finally, just what is your best advice for our students who want to gather with their friends? How can they do that safely? Should they be doing that at all? Sure. Uh, what do you think is the best way to go about that? Yeah, I mean, I think you can, but you know, making sure that you're staying six feet apart mm -hmm. um, and you're wearing your masks, you know, a mask doesn't mean that you, um, if someone tested positive in your group, that you wouldn't have to quarantine. So really knowing your symptoms and knowing what's going on. If you have a headache or if you have a sore throat, you know, something that's mild that you might in the previous years kind of dismissed, don't do that. Make mm -hmm. sure that you are feeling perfectly a-okay before you go and hang out with anyone. Because if you are with someone and you're having those symptoms and then you test positive, they will be in quarantine. And I know that's a big concern of our students. They, they want to do things safely. They want to make sure that their friends are still getting social interactions. So this is a very um, unique time in their life and they want to socially gather. And I do understand that, but we have to do those things as safely as we possibly can. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And the other thing I would say is one of the most important thing is get tested. Mm -hmm. If you feel like you're having symptoms, you know, call the health clinic. We can oftentimes get you in, especially if you're having symptoms within the same day, for certain by the next day. So just give us a call and let our nurses assess you over the phone. Oh, perfect, mm -hmm. awesome. Well, perfect. thank you so much. You're welcome. Thanks, Ellie. Yeah.